this week in South Florida. Just five days left in the legislative session and still no agreement on property taxes. And what about a paper trail for voters in Florida, as well as a stadium for the Marlins? We'll get some answers from Governor Charlie Crist. Plus, prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in men. Now there's a new campaign to raise awareness, and you can be part of it by just wearing sneakers to work. We'll explain. Stories people are talking about this week in South Florida. Almost everyone in this country recognizes the pink ribbon that symbolizes breast cancer and the campaign to fight it. Now there is another symbol to fight cancer. It is a blue ribbon and blue sneaker laces, and they represent the fight against prostate cancer. Some 27,000 men die every year in this country because of prostate cancer, and 230,000 men will be diagnosed with the disease this year. It is the second leading cause of cancer death in men in this country. And the aim of the American Prostate, Prostate Cancer Initiative and Sneakers at Work Day is to bring that number down. As a prostate cancer survivor myself, I'm proud to be part of this campaign. Proud to be associated with Dr. Arnon Krongrad, a Miami urologist. He is a local leader in the American Prostate Cancer Initiative. He also is a pioneer of a less invasive form of surgery for prostate cancer. And uh, Barry Johnson is the president of the Greater Miami Chamber of Commerce and a leader, I'm glad to say, in raising awareness in the business community to this disease. To both of you, good morning. Great to have you come in. I'm going to dispense with Mr. or Dr. since right. we're friends here. Um, Arnon Krongrad, first tell us, uh, you know, since this is such a serious and widespread disease, why does it, as it were, sort of fly under the radar? Why don't more people know about it? The problem with prostate cancer is that it happens to men. The reason that that's a problem is men tend to be either very busy or very shy about talking about talking about the problems that they're potentially having, be they diagnosis, treatment, or the side effects of treatments. Right, which can be incontinence and impotence, and these are things that men don't want to talk about, obviously. Well, they're socially embarrassing, but what we're seeing now, and possibly because of the precedent set by the women uh, with the breast cancer awareness campaigns, what we're seeing is uh, a stigma dissolving before our eyes. Right. And Barry Johnson, I'm glad to say that you are going to go to the Greater Miami Chamber of Commerce. I guess you're having a board meeting in the next few days. What are you going to ask them to do? We're going to ask them to think about how just important it is that they get checked because it's, it's fascinating that, that most people, especially business people, and we've got, I guess, what you would consider to be probably the target market for uh, uh, the potential of getting prostate cancer right in our membership because we are predominantly uh, populated by men. Right. Uh, while they're up to speed on everything from technology to the stock market and everything else, they often don't take time to really focus on their personal health. And this is a disease, that is, is, yeah. as the doctor talks about, that can be, that can be cured if it is detected in time. Right. And the figure I had seen, Arnon, one in six men is going to be diagnosed at some point in their lives with uh, prostate cancer. The overall risk is one in six. In special populations, for example, in African-American men, it's one out of four. But if you think that one in six men will be diagnosed, think of how many men are actually going to have to worry about prostate cancer. Right. Now that not everyone who is at risk will be diagnosed, but is still going to have to go through testing, possibly biopsies. So this is a problem that affects basically all of us. Right. Now, let me uh, sort of hold up for everybody at home. You see these, uh, whoops, these uh, blue laces. These go on sneakers. And on June 15th, I'm going to put them in my sneakers and I'm going to wear them to uh, Local 10 and proudly <coughs> so. And Arnon, tell us about what is sneakers at work and tell us about the proclamation you brought. Sneakers at Work is a work-based campaign to raise awareness about prostate cancer. It is the first uh, mechanism by which the American Prostate Cancer Initiative, a not-for-profit, uh, aims to raise awareness. We also aim later to raise uh, funds uh, using this and other mechanisms, funds that will then be used to do lots of things, research and education among them, obviously. Right. And, Barry, uh, one of the things I know you're going to ask, and, and may I say, the Greater Miami Chamber of Commerce, there are, a lot of chambers are great, but the Greater Miami Chamber is one of the more enlightened chambers I've ever seen. You're going to ask your membership to tell or suggest to uh, go out and have the employees who uh, work, men and women, uh, to put these sneakers, uh, put these blue laces in their sneakers on June 15th and wear them to work. 
Absolutely. We have an obligation, quite frankly, to do that. We've got 2,200 member companies, more than 5,500 members, and if we can get just a portion of those, uh, of those folks involved in this and get it going, this is the first full year of this. It will really go a long way to making this really a campaign with a lot of awareness. Right. And uh, Arnon uh, Krongrad has brought along, can I hold this up here? I'll put it over here. This is a proclamation. All right, we'll do it here. From uh, Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Alvarez, and he is named naming June 15th, Sneakers at Work Day in Miami-Dade County. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to uh, call Mayor Joe Eglishan of uh, Broward County, and let's see if we can't get Mayor Eglishan to do it. And when I go to Tallahassee next week, I'm going to ask uh, Governor Chris to get involved in this as well. Uh, I personally believe in what you're doing, and I'm glad to be part of it, as a matter of fact. Glad to have you here this morning. I'm glad to have you. All right. Thank well, I, I, I hope that uh, June 15th is a big success. I hope public awareness is raised, and I salute you on the work that you do in your personal practice, too, Arna. All right. Thanks very much for coming in this morning. And uh, when we come back, we're going to look at the mail. So stay with us.